Welcome! Today I will be showing you a very quick tutorial on how to remove the pads and rotors and replace them on your Brembo brake equipped car. Uh, right now I have a 2006 Volvo S60R. This car comes with a standard 320 millimeter brakes from the factory. And I believe these brakes also come on an Evo 8, 9, and I think a 10, a C5 Corvette and a mid 2000s uh, CTSV. So let's get started. What you'll need is a very small and thin screwdriver to fit it in these two holes right here. That's one and another one right here. And these two holes is where two pins reside and hold the pads in. If you are only changing your pads, all you have to do is push these two pins out, remove this bracket, slide your pads out, put the new ones in, and that's it. Make sure you lube the back of the pads as well so you don't seize up your brakes and keep them from um, rusting out and whatnot. Once you do that, if you're also replacing your brake disc, you will have to remove the caliper, obviously. So to do that, there are two 13 millimeter bolts right here, right there. Once you remove those two bolts, the entire bracket will come off and you will be able to easily slide off the caliper. Once you do that, you'll be able to remove the rotor, slide the new one back on, and make sure you remove this bolt if your car is equipped with such bolt. This bolt holds the caliper in place, or the uh, rotor in place. If you don't remove this bolt, you will not be able to remove the rotor. Once you put the new rotor on, do everything backwards. Pretty straightforward. All right, I'm gonna put you guys on the tripod and show you how to do it. So I'm gonna start off by taking the two pins out right here and here. All you need is these two. Carefully place it in the hole so you don't scratch your caliper. One, two, three, and it's out. Just push it out a little more if you want. Don't push it all the way. You don't want the bracket to snap on your screwdriver. It will become annoying to take out. There you go. Once those two are out, all you have to do is push on the bracket down. The bracket will will spring out. It's the thing that holds the pads in place. Loosen up your bracket. So once one pin is out, this is the pin right here. Put it aside, remove the bracket. Bracket will slide off easily as soon as you take one pin out. There it is. Bracket's pretty, it's got tensile force and it just pushes the pads down where they're supposed to be. Take out the second pin and there you go. That's the first stage, all done. Once you got the first stage down, if you're only replacing the pads, like I said earlier, all you have to do is place the new pads in, lubricate them, put them back in, and then put the pins in, put one pin in actually, put the bracket on, and then push the second pin in as you squeeze the bracket down and then slide them in. Make sure the back of the bracket, if you look right here, the bracket is, is completely different on one side. It's got this thing and the other side just looks like a small pin. This side, this side right here is the one that goes on this end. The one with the little rotary clip thing goes on the back. Make sure this side on the back is perfectly flat with the caliper once you punch it back in. So let's take our pads out. Now this car has been sitting for a while. So the pads are kind of stuck to the rotor. That's one down. And then they literally just slide out, as you can see. That's it, it's very simple. Once you got those two out, you'll need to remove the two 13 millimeter bolts on the back. I'm using a small one, 15 millimeter, sorry. <laughs> I apologize about that. Hopefully you didn't buy a 13 mil before watching the full video. So I'm just gonna go in here. I've already loosened them up earlier. They might be very hard for you, if you're doing this the first time and they might be seized. So just use some 
Um, some uh, PB Blaster, or if you don't have any PB Blaster, you can do a mix of uh, automatic transmission fluid and acetone, 50-50, and that'll tear straight through the threads and loosen them up very quick. There you go, that's one bracket out, or one bolt out, I should say. Go in the back, loosen the back bolt. You have to hold both the brackets and the caliper in place because they will both fall off. I should be able to take it off with my fingers now. Yep, there we go. You don't need to remove the bolts completely, you just leave them in the sockets, but just take them out of the threads, mainly. Because the bracket in the back, you'll see in a second, is made of two parts. Also depends on the car. All right, so here's the bracket. Made of two parts. Not sure what the purpose of this design is, but it's possible that they just not needed this to fit the brakes. And then you slide your caliper off, like so. There you go. So the rings on the on the uh, cylinders look pretty clean. No need to clean them. Maybe I'll just wipe them down for the dust. And an advice to if you want to leave this hanging. You don't want to hang it down from the brake uh, line, brake fluid line. So use a door hanger right in here, right on the hole, and hang it on the uh, strut tower spring. And it'll just hang like this. But my car is nicely designed, so I can basically just place it like so. And it won't fall off. So my rotors come with a 10 millimeter bolt right here to keep it in place, as you can see. So I'm gonna take that 10 millimeter bolt off. Make sure you hold the rotor in place if your rotor does have this design. Move the rotor. This one's going to get RMA'd through FCP Euro. They have lifetime warranty, so check them out if you have a European car. Lifetime warranty with every single one of their parts. All right, so now I'm gonna spray some <coughs> brake clean on the caliper just to get some of that stuff off. Get the dust off, you know. Make it nice and clean, ready for application. side for now. Let it dry. There we go. You're gonna grab your new rotor, place it on, make sure you align the holes correctly. Insert the little bolt. Grab your brackets. Okay, now that both sides are aligned, grab your 15 mil. Remember, the bolts are going to be, a they might be a different size on, on every vehicle. There we go. Just hand tying them, you know. Unless you have the guide and know how much you have to tighten them, then you'll need a brake, you'll need a torque wrench or a torque bar. They are nice and steady. You're gonna grab your pads. You got some Permatex, Permatex Ultra Disc Brake Caliper Lube. All right, now the surface is nice and clean. So once you've got the pad cleaned up, what you gotta do is So, make sure you compress the uh, the brake cylinders in. 
Mine are already compressed, but I'm just using a screwdriver flathead. Just put it on the rotor and push in. Don't worry, you won't damage the brakes. The other side might also come out, so there we go. Now they're nice, both in at the same time. Slide them in and make sure they're aligned with the holes. Right now I'm just going to leave them a little bit above the holes for now. And then do the same thing with the other one. There we go. And now you are ready for reassembly. So, grab your old pins. You don't need to clean these, it's not a big deal. Just wipe them down. You don't really get that dirty. Slide it in from the back. I prefer to slide the bottom one in first. Zoom you guys in. Right there. And then slip it through the other pad. And then slide it through the hole. Make sure it's sitting in it. Yep. And then I'm just gonna use my hammer cautiously, whack it from the back. Careful not to, to tap on the brake caliper. Notice how the sound got louder. That means the pin is all the way in and it's sitting flat with the uh, brake caliper. So once you got this pin in, now what you can do is grab your, grab your bracket and then you insert it from this side. You see this side right here? How it goes down. So this side has to go in like that. And then it basically just grabs onto the pin. It sits on top of it like so. So now it's in place. I'm gonna hold it from this side right here. And then same method, insert the other pin from the other side. This might be a little hard depending on how stiff your bracket is, but it's a fairly easy process. There. there we go. And now same thing, tap it from the back. And you're done. You've just replaced your Brembo brakes. Thanks for watching guys. If you like the video, leave a thumbs up and follow me on Instagram to see more updates and to check out my personal car. I'm also a photographer, so check out my other photos. Catch you guys in the next one. Assalamu alaikum.